Hi guys, welcome back to the part 2 of this tutorial where we are going to be doing SMS integration with SAP Business One. So on our last video we did email integration. So if you've not watched that, be sure to watch so that you get the basics and uh, what we did, which is what uh, we are going to be continuing on this tutorial. So let's get started with the SMS integration. All right, so I'm going to open the project with the Visual Studio. So for SMS development, it's going to be much simpler than even uh, what we did with email, but we are still going to follow the same um, procedure that we did uh, the previous video. So I'm going to create a command also for SMS. So for that, you just use PHP artisan make command. Then I'm going to give it a name, send SMS. Yes, yeah, so that has been created. So if you come to the commands folder, you have an, a new class send sms so like the email uh send email class you want to change the name of the command so i'm going to uh, call it send sms balance then i want to put the description sends sms uh sends account balance sms to sap customers Okay, so again, if you check the uh, application's uh, command list, you should be able to see the new command that you have created. All right, so let's check. Here it is, send SMS balance, send account balance SMS to SAP customers. Okay, so now uh, we're going to continue to create the query and to also uh, do the actual SMS sending. So for this is where we are going to be using Gazelle. Uh, on a previous uh, video, we did Gazelle installation. So this is where we are going to be using Gazelle client to be making the HTTP requests. So the first thing we want to do is to create the query. And since uh, the query is the same as the query we are using for email, I'm just going to copy paste uh, what we did and use it to send the SMS as well, okay? So uh, if you have not uh, watched the pre uh, previous video, so make sure you do that so that you understand uh, what you're doing here. All right, so I'm going to copy this query here, then paste it here under the handle function, then I'm going to format that. I also want to import the DB facade. All right, so once we have created the query and we have imported the DB facade, we also want to import our Gazelle uh, class. So I'm going to use Gazelle HTTP show client. So we are going to be using the Gazo client to be making the HTTP requests to our API. So for sending SMS, you need to purchase uh, bulk SMSs from a gateway provider, in which case they should be able to give you an API that you can use to integrate uh, your applications to, to their SMS. So um, with that, now you can be able to be sending SMSs through uh, their gateway. So I already have mine and that's what I'm going to use. So what you want to first do is to delete this. Okay, then you're going to create uh, a new instance of uh, the Gazo client. So I'm going to give it a variable. I'm going to call it client equals new client. Okay, 
So after we have that now, we can proceed now uh, to send the SMS. So I'm also going to create, uh, this should be client. Okay, so that's okay. So I'm also going to create another variable that I'm going to call request. So this request variable is aware now I'm going to be sending the SMS. So I want to use this instance of our Gazo client. Then the method I'm using is get, okay? So then uh, here inside the get uh, function, what you want to do now is to put the string or the API endpoint that you have been provided by your uh, bulk SMS uh, gateway provider. Okay, so I have mine here. I'm just going to copy it and paste it here. Okay. All right, so it has all the uh, parameters that needs to be sent. And uh, since it's uh, the format is uh, string five, I'm just going to format so since uh, it's a, it's a, it uses string five, meaning I'm just I just have to put in uh, one string and I can be able to pass in the parameters that are needed. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. So the first thing is to pass the phone number, which we oh we didn't select. So you have to add it here. We need to replace this email with the phone phone number, which is cellular. Awesome. Okay. So um, the phone number we have to pass it as a parameter to our a string. So I have to put it here under two. But this totally uh, depends on the provider of your uh, SMSs. So. Basically, this will change depending on what you are using. But for mine, uh, this is what I'm going to do. So under two, I have to pass the phone number. I'm sending the message. Then now I have to compose the message here. So I'm going to just uh, delete. So to this, I have to change and put the customer, the customer name, which is the card name. So I want to say hello, then the customer name. Then I want to add, uh, your balance is then put then put the phone uh, the balance here so the balance is going to be customer customer balance So this is uh... all right. So if uh, just in case you're wondering, that's how we we do concatenation in concatenation in uh, PHP. So we use dot not plus. And so with that, I'm able to send uh, SMS to the customer. Uh, just basically pasted the URL that I've been provided with by my SMS uh, gateway provider. And then uh, since it's a string and it's a get, I have to use get, it's a get uh, request. I've just uh, passed the phone number I'm sending to, the customer name and also the balance. So when now I go and uh, run my command PHP, um, artisan send SMS, Balance. So now I should be able to receive a message on my phone. Right, so it has already sent. And that's how you do it. So uh, once you have these two commands, now you can be able to go on and uh, set them up on uh, Windows Task Scheduler. And you be able to be sending these reports to, uh, to your customers and uh, any other reports that is required. It's, it's, it works on uh, anything custom. You can be able to send the account balances, the pending invoices, um, and uh, uh, in case of uh, even uh, doing a lead follow-up and stuff like that. So uh, that's, I think we come to the end of this tutorial and I hope that you have learned something. In case you have a question, um, 
about this uh, you can leave a comment and i'll be able to respond to you and uh, make sure you like and you subscribe see you on the next video